A ton of my students tell me that they want more speed and distance with their golf shots. So here's a great drill to help you capitalize on applying your speed to your golf ball at the right time. So take any club, an iron, a driver, it really doesn't matter, and hold it upside down so your hands are near the hosel of the club and just take your grip um, without getting too particular. It doesn't really matter as far as a perfect grip position. It's gonna feel kind of uh, narrow, obviously, inside your hands here. So the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and just start swinging the club back and forth. And hopefully you can hear the sound that my club is starting to make as I move it through the bottom of the swing. There's a whooshing sound. That's what we're looking for. How we get this whooshing sound is two parts. One is the speed that I'm swinging, the louder it is, the faster I'm delivering that club through impact. And the timing of it should be such that the loudest sound is happening basically at the bottom of the swing where the ball would be, maybe even a smidge after the ball. Uh, we don't want to deliver the loudest sound here in the downswing because that means, again, we're throwing away our speed too early. So for some of you out there, that don't have a proper wrist hinge, just adding that lever alone in your swing will allow you to start to feel how to get this speed to begin with. So check your backswing. When you swing back, do you have a wrist hinge? Do you set the club at the top of your swing? Is it pointing out or is it pointing more behind where your head is? It should be pointing back up and behind you so that you know your hands are set doesn't mean we have a long arm swing. We don't need to reach back far if our wrists are loaded. This is where a lot of that speed is coming from. Watch the difference between these two swings. Here we have no wrist. Here we have wrist. Instantly the sound got significantly louder and I think my timing was pretty good. Sounded like it was happening at the bottom of the swing. So if you can do the swoosh drill with the club at home and on the range in between some regular shots when you're practicing, I definitely think you'll get the sense of when the timing should be, how to literally release the club properly and at the right time so you can maximize your distance and your speed. Good luck.